there, I have two students, one from Brown. Hello, folks. This is Rifat Bari, master's in physics student at Brown University. And I have one student from NYU, New York University. Hi, everyone. My name is Tabona Lytik Berry, and I'm pursuing my math and physics bachelor's degree at NYU. Four. You guys are ready? Yeah. All right. The problem number one is, of course, this is daily integration problem. Problem number one is um, integrate the square root of 12 minus 3x squared dx. <clears throat> uh, before you start, you have to wish each other a good luck, honestly. So, good luck, sir. Uh, one second. Okay. Wish each other a good luck. Bad luck. No, I wish you the best of luck. Okay, go Thank now. You. I wish you the best of luck. Go now, fight. Fight. Go on, wait, 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 let me copy it down. Let me copy it down. Oh, come on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I Some type, of, some type of sign is in the answer. Are you kidding? Oh, wait a second. Probably one of these. I don't want to be. I don't want to make that comment. Battle, 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 battle. something Rifat literally never saw coming. Okay. X is... Oh. oh my gosh. I thought you want him to win. Oh my gosh. 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 Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, but that's not a good form of the answer. So what do I say? Ah, I wish this was a definite integral, but it would be so easy. He is not doing it. He can't be. He is not doing it. He can't be. Oh, he's not doing it. No, he can't be. I know him. He's not doing it. He can't be. He's not doing it. He can't be. He's not doing it. He can't be. Not doing it. Cause he's not doing it, he can't be. 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 Oh my god, you're 
change everything? Is it that difficult? No, it's not. Okay. Bo is literally not realizing. He is not realizing it. He's not doing it. He can't be. My final answer is this. It's probably dumb, it's probably wrong, but here it is. This can also be what it is this. This opposite is. No. Um, but it's a freaking mm -hmm. So how can it not be a mm -hmm. arc? And I'm not seeing how you would... Oh. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Am I missing a fact of rat 3? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, is this right? No. Which one? <laughs> No, that's wrong. It's a circle. Really? Four minus root four minus x squared. No, it's outside. I don't know. Uh, okay. Retire. So yeah, Retire. answer Retire. answer Retire. is here. Retire. 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 Is it a number? Why equals the square root of four minus uh, x squared? Y squared equals four minus x squared. X squared plus y squared equals four. It's literally the positive part of the circle of radius two. Yeah, but we're not finding the area of the circle. I mean, no, but it has to do with something of the circle. Yeah, but <laughs> we're not finding the okay, area. Okay, so, yeah. But uh, that's the integral. Can you write the answer? The square root of 3 over 2. Write a square root of 3 over 2. Isaac, go write a square root of 3 over 2. Yeah. Parenthesis x. A square root of 4 minus x squared. Mm -hmm. Outside the parenthesis plus. Five. Four, uh -huh. inverse sign, uh -huh. x over two, uh -huh. inverse sign x over two, uh -huh. plus c. Oh, that, that's my answer, but if you simplify it, see? Uh, oh, yeah, he's right, he's right, he's right. This one simplifies to square root three over two, uh, inverse sign x over two. Oh, yeah. And if you oh, the no, 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 no. So There's actually the two. No, no, it's, uh, it's root, all right. Root 12 is root 2 root 3. No, but this is factored out. Oh, okay. Yeah. There it is. Like all right. Is. So, okay, count it to later. Yeah. Go ahead. Do go ahead, go ahead. Do you want to see how it's all? Yeah. No, no, I understand. No, you don't understand. I understand. I understand. Fine, I understand. you explain to me how it's all. Okay. So, let's yeah. see what he did. All right. So, it first looks like he factored out the constant. Okay, that's good. That's all cool. So, then... Okay, so then he does a u sub. 
Now this is very mysterious because he takes no. action. Well, what does he do? I do the anti you so. Oh, right. Well, technically. He does x equals 2 sine u in order to obtain this. So dx is 2 cosine u du. So x over 2 is sine u. So you get this, so it cancels out. And this inside is the square root of 1 minus sine u, which, as he observed, is cosine u. So he gets 2 cosine squared u, which he then integrates by parts. No, I replaced it using the half angle formula. Oh, okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Very clever. And then you have to replace u in terms of x, so you have to make a triangle mm. to see how u is related with x. Mm -hmm. And then you expand sine to u as 2 sine u cosine u. Sine u you have from your u sub, and yeah. cosine u you can get from your triangle. And then you plug this in, and then you can get this last part u by anti integrate uh, by anti signing this, and you get the right answer. Yeah, that's, that's right. great. Consolidate, uh, con um, Isaac. Consolidate. You know my process of thinking, which was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. So basically, I already thought. Well, this is just the positive side of a circle from minus two to plus two with radius two. You see the reasoning behind it, right? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and yeah, uh, we just talked about this right at the end, so it doesn't really matter. So then. What I was going to do is I was going to... Oh, you also got the right answer. No, this is what uh, Dad told oh, me to write. This oh, is my okay. answer. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So essentially, uh, you take this line, x. Uh, so you have this line, x equals some number, n, from minus 2 to 2. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to find this area behind n, which is probably a bad idea. Yeah, this is not a definite interval. Uh, well, no, we're, we're doing it indefinitely. The definite integral would just be obviously 2 pi root 3. But to, we're doing the indefinite integral, mm -hmm. so we're essentially finding this area behind this line is a function of where the line is, which is x. So, essentially... Really. Because the line can actually be outside of the circle. We're only defining it from minus 2 to 2. Taking it anywhere else would be invalid. Okay, fine. Okay, so then we have this sector of the circle minus this triangle, and this is theta, and this is 2. So we have that this is x, this is theta, this is 2, and so this length right over here is the square root of 4 minus x squared. You see the logic on that one. And then you have this little portion remaining. So you have the entire sector, and it's going to be, well, what is this angle? If not, arc sine of the square root of 4 minus x squared divided by x. Wait, no. The square root of 4 minus x squared divided by 2. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And then that is divided by the total degrees, 2 pi, and multiplied by the total area of the full circle with radius 2, 4 pi. In order to get the area of the sector, you should see. So you get two. So this is two arc sine root four minus x squared over two. And then you just subtract the area of this, which is x root four minus x squared over two. And now all you have to do is multiply by the root three that we forgot to account for. So very strangely, I actually got one of the terms which is root minus 3 over 2 times x root 4 minus x squared, which as you can see is up here. But, and I don't know if this simplifies to this. Maybe it does. No. So, oh, yeah. wow. So you got close. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay thank you so much. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, everybody.